Three of U.S. Congressman Ralph Hall's former opponents have endorsed the 17-turn incumbent for the May 27th Republican runoff election between Hall and former U.S. Attorney and City of Heath Mayor John Ratcliffe. Plano race car business owner Lou Gigliotti, former Fate City Council member John Stacy, and Rockwall Army veteran Tony Arterburn each recently announced their support for Hall. Stacy told the Rockwall News that Hall is the true conservative in the race, who's been fighting for the 4th District for many years and still has a lot of fight in him, compared to his opponent, who represents the Washington, D.C. establishment and who distanced himself from the Tea Party. Well, to me, the answer is pretty simple. You have two people left in the race, and I think that one of them, the Congressman Hall, is the only one that will serve the people of the 4th District. When you look at... The, when, when people try to try to pin, pan him as an establishment candidate for being there for 34 years, it's odd that he has the less amount of money. Usually establishment is paired with money. And the reason that Congressman Hall has less money than his opponent is because Congressman Hall has been fighting the House leadership and standing up for us for the last four to five or six years since the Republicans really went astray. And I just think that while we're fighting the Obama regime, we need to get a new uh, Republican president elected. I, I just think that it's really smart to go ahead and say, you know what, let's put our trust in a guy that's been fighting for us for all this time. He still has a lot of fight left in him. And uh, I think when you look at someone that's got, that's received a, I mean, almost a million dollars, I haven't seen the, the reports, that's what I've been hearing, a million dollars outside the district, then you don't get a million dollars without owing somebody something. And the, that somebody is not in the 4th District. So you have one candidate that's gone around the 4th District for 34 years, serving it well, listening to the people, voted against every bailout, never voted for a tax increase, associates himself with the Tea Party. Then you have the other candidate who's got almost a million dollars and in his first interview says, I'm not Tea Party. And personally, I cannot stand for someone that's not for physical responsibility and for the Constitution. That's what I ran on. Um, uh, and I just think that when you distance yourself from the Tea Party, you're saying a lot. And I think mainstream Republicanism is what's killing the Republican Party. And we need true conservatives in Washington. I am not surprised that they uh, endorsed me because I didn't knock them around. As a matter of fact, I came to their aid. I said I was disappointed in the, in the Dallas News, not looking at the, their provisions and their accomplishments, not even considering them. They just voted for a guy that they thought might beat me. And, uh, and that's not fair to them because there's, there's three guys there that are highly skilled. They probably had a better background than I had when I first ran for Congress. And, uh, and I liked all of it. I admire anybody that wants to be a public servant if they want it for the right reason. And these boys all did. I wasn't much surprised when they endorsed me. But I was very pleased and I really appreciate it. But I'm not going to work. That means I'm going to work harder and harder and harder. But I'm going to walk out all 18 counties in my district. I'm going to walk out the city park and be at every courthouse before the 27th day of, of May. I have enough money to live till May the 26th. I just want these people to give me a, a buck or so on the 27th before I can make the year.